What's going on, everybody? Sorry, I was reading my scroll across the screen because sometimes when I'm typing out the word basketball, I misspell it. And I sat there and looked at it for a second. I'm like, wait a minute, I did spell it right. I don't know. It's just the way when I start typing and stuff, I miss hit keys backwards. So today we know prison basketball came out. You're looking at like two thousand dollars a hobby box. A hanger is going for like one sixty, one seventy five. First off the line, I'm guessing around 2500 ish somewhere around there. I really didn't pay much attention to it. So, if you guys have been watching a lot of the prison breaks, some hobby boxes are hot. And I'd probably say a couple are mediocre, and you probably got about over half the cakes that are duds. <laughs> now, with the grading companies pretty much being non-existent right now, we're going to go with, because one Beckett is very, very long wait. PSA suspended everything up to up through Express. HGA, good luck on the lottery. SGC, $75 a card. Yeah, okay. That leaves you a GMA. Would you really want a GMA Prism card? Probably not. So, and then you got C C G S. Yeah, CGS, which is CGC's uh, card company. Possibly you could use them, you know, if you want to send some lower Prism in. I haven't really checked much, but we're going to do a video here shortly this week on uh, CGS cards and take a look to see how their value is holding since a lot of people are starting to get them back in. All right, so I do have one box, like I said, a Prism in the other video. I don't know if I'm going to open it or not. To be honest, this is the one time I'm going to tell you guys I am scared to open that because for $2,000 for the box... I'm going with value that it's roughly selling for. I would say I would be better off, you know, getting a briefcase of Flawless because at least I know that one autograph in there should net me with everything else at least 50% back of my value. This here, I don't. I could probably hit 10% of my value in a few of the boxes I've seen offhand. And we're talking about, you know, selling the raw cards. Now, of course, right off the bat, you all know raw is going to be super high. And then it'll teeter down to where it needs to be and everything. So let me pull this up here because I just want to use two examples here of stuff that I found selling. And to me, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But hey, what in the hobby now makes sense anymore, you know? All right. So LaMelo Ball. Some people are calling him the number one rookie. He's the filler team out there myself. I'm favored to Anthony Edwards. So, but. Edwards is probably doing like I think somewhere between two and two sixty something like that for a base prism. I, I think offhand, I had it up here earlier, but we're gonna go with Lamelo Ball. So everybody can see right here. These are the bases. You got three seventy, four hundred five, two eighty three, three fifteen, three eighty, three hundred. I'm guessing the range is probably gonna be about three twenty ish right now for one. 305, 436, 460. That's oh, the variation. Variation blue jersey, just so everybody knows. So variation is 460. So if you bought a $2,000 box, then I'm just using this as they sold for $19.99.95 off a of Panini website. No, I did not pay that for my box. Because um, I know somebody's going to ask me that in the comments. So I'm just going to put it out there now. I. Where where's your other seventeen? We'll say sixteen hundred dollars in value. Well, if the PSA was out, PSA ten of this, I'm guessing is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand to twelve hundred. Probably we'll just go with uh, Herbert prices offhand uh, from what his base is selling for to his PSA tens because this is a hard year to grade. As most of you know, on the front here, the centering has been bad. And if you got a good centered front, you go in the back and you look at the bottom two sides, and you have the uh, uh, colored uh, sides have, like going from mid or halfway to the bottom. Those are all centered left to right. So I have not figured it out this year how they're grading, you know, on both sides of it yet, because I've only had one card come back so until i see a couple more that i set in i'm not too sure offhand so that's lamello's prices offhand they, these are all from uh friday on as you guys can see there's a hybrid prism 630 orange cracked ice 470 
Now you pull that there, you definitely made money off your hanger. But I think you only get what three or four, maybe five cracked ices in a box. All right, let's pull this up. So let's talk the the card that everybody wants right now. This LeBron. This LeBron here is supposed to be the Kobe tribute or whatever they're calling it out there offhand. As you can see, the base 200, 136, 200, 200, 163, over, oh, it's a box, 162, 237. So somewhere in the ballpark, you're going to probably look at like getting 160, 200 bucks for the card, roughly. Not too bad overall, you know, for a base LeBron card offhand. Um, where to go on here? Orange cracked ice, a thousand dollars on bids. I didn't look to see if it, let's take a look real quick to see if this was shield bidded. I would not expect it to be this high, but considering how many you get per box, you could have probably opened a whole oh private listing. So we're not even gonna go with it. Huh, we will not even go with it. But I'm not too sure, you know, how many you'd have to open up. Is it one per every two cases, maybe? Maybe one per case. Which, in that reality, yeah, it's going to be worth more because of the variation on to it. So, when you start adding up and looking at those being like probably your two top cards, one for top base veteran, and then one being top base rookie, being because everybody's uh, saying LaMelo is the filler team this year, you pull both of those, we're just going to call it $500 right there. I... I mean, guy, you're going to get your uh, 22 prisms in there. If they're all, say, very, very basely duds onto it, you get a, a pretty bad box. So now you're going to have to wait for one of the grading companies to grade these. Do you dare spend $300 with PSA to super express it? Do you say, well, just get HGC, you do it, and pay them $75 to be the first one out there that graded one? I'm just not seeing the value across the board onto this stuff this year. Now, granted, you do get two autos, and you get usually the way it's been going, one vet, one rookie card. And I was just talking to somebody about, I think it was uh, the Halliburton's auto was like two to $300 only for the base auto. My thing is, if I was anybody out there and I wasn't out for the gamble catching the prisms, and I'm, the, I'm, when I say the word prisms onto it, you know, the... Prism parallels. I would just buy my bases off of this stuff and possibly grade off it because you're going to save yourself a lot of money and headaches. But you do have that gamble that goes on of can I pull the big one? Can I pull, you know, like uh, G1 pulled the green variation LeBron out of five and who knows what that would sell for? $20,000, 40000 maybe 50000 I mean, it was really off-centered, really, really badly off-centered. And I know somebody else said, I think, a gold or orange, or maybe it was a gold. Gold, maybe orange. Another one that was low-numbered. It might have been like a blue ice, too. It was badly off-centered, too. And when you go look at some of the prices onto this stuff, let me give you guys an example here. Let's take that off. $40,000 for the Orange Wave out of 60. That's what people are asking for. It. Mojo out of 25. 25,000. I mean, you do have that allure of can I hit something like this and can I get the money onto it that everybody's talking about on here? You know, somebody out there might pay those prices for it. I'm not going to lie. We've, we've seen some strange stuff here. Over the past onto it, I'm just scrolling through here to give you guys some ideas onto it offhand of just some of the prices with it. Silver's five. I mean, this is all top to bottom, so you start getting down into the prices onto this stuff, what's realistic versus what was listed at first. You know, you'll start seeing prices do drop down and everything onto flashbacks, Bryant, uh, or Bryant, I'm sorry, yeah. Kobe Bryant. I, I don't know why I'm sitting here saying Brian now, but um, 
things are going to be a lot different out there. I mean, the, with the LeBron Jameses, the, the what they're calling the Kobe tribute card and stuff, that, do you chase it or not? I mean, that, that's a hard decision. Really hard. If you guys have noticed, there's a lot of video clips out there of when Prism Hangers came out. There were lines of like 100 deep. I mean, if I knew there were 40 hangers in a box and I saw more than 20 people in front of me, you know for a fact <laughs> that when you go used to go to Walmart, there wasn't a whole lot in the display area. If I was like numbers 25 and back, I probably wouldn't even be standing in that line anymore in any hope. I, I don't think I'd stand in the line to begin with onto it, but some crazy places out there. But let me know what you guys think on this. This has just been my mentality and thoughts over the last, you know, couple days watching Prism come out. And I was like, well, let's see how where the prices start settling in here on Sunday. And just to get an idea onto it, because unless you hit a good Prism parallel, it is not paying for that box. I'll tell you right now. But you do have that gamble. And if you're like one of the people like, hey, you know, I can risk the gamble onto it. If you do well or you don't do well. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm just one of them people that I do not want to throw $2,000 into a box. And with the grading companies now upcharge or raising prices, I should say upcharge and raising prices, I don't think I would want to be, in, you know, messing with this product at all. To me, you guys will see what I pulled Definitive. Hopefully, by the end of this week, it'll be in. But I'm looking at other products. If I'm going to make a gamble, it'll be an NT or uh, Flawless, where I make my gambles at. Because, yes, it's going to be very super high price, but I'll take a shot and a serial number break on to it over this. But, all right, everybody, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like I said, I do like reading through them and making comments back, because... You guys might see something different that I'm not seeing out there. And it's just good to have information flow out there so that everybody can read through comments and be like, oh, yeah, this kind of makes sense, you know. And I've done before where I've said stuff and I look at what other people are and I'm like, you know what, that makes better sense than my thought process on to it. But all right, everybody, take care. Have a good one. I'm out, and I'll catch you guys later this week.